Hello, it is Thursday, January 18th, 2024. I'm Chris Remo and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It's a Thursday crossword this week, which, well, <laughs> it's a Thursday crossword every week, but it's a Thursday crossword today. And that means we're going to be encountering some kind of interesting or intricate theme, something we'll have to figure out to make the puzzle work properly, I suspect. And this uh, potentially tricky or intricate edition of The Daily Solve has been brought to us by Michael, Aaron Spiller, Lake House Bros, and as always, the indomitable Shoalmaster. So thank you so much to the four of them. They are benefactors, of course, of The Daily Solve Patreon campaign. That means they directly sustain this channel. They keep the whole thing going. I'm very grateful for their support. So thanks to them. Thanks to you if you're a patron. Thanks to everybody who donates to the campaign at any level. I really do appreciate it. And if you'd like to do so yourself, help out the channel, you can head over to patreon.com slash daily solve or click the link in the description field where you'll find the bonus videos available to patrons um, and for benefactors, the official mug. Uh, you can also support the channel in another way by subscribing on YouTube, liking the videos, commenting if you uh, have something to say about them or something to correct me on, uh, which does happen uh, not infrequently. And uh Thanks if you do any of those things. And then finally, there's the Daily Solve Discord chat server, a nice, friendly chat community that can be joined via a description field link as well. So do check that out. And having said all of that, let's get on to today's crossword. I uh, just realized I forgot to um, look into how many puzzles these two have constructed. I think they might be debuts, but I'm not sure about that. Uh, and they look like they're maybe related. Perhaps they're brothers or father and son or some other relation, but John Miknovic uh, and Carl Miknovic. Uh, I'm sure I mispronounced those names. I'm sorry, but they are here with a collaborative Thursday crossword. It was edited as always by Will Schwartz. So let's start solving and see how we fare. Part of some Italian church names. Part of some Italian church names. Is it going to be Saint something, maybe? Is it, is it S-A-N-T? Sorry, I'm going to look at the crosses on this. Expeditions, e.g. Expeditions, plural. I was thinking, if it was singular, I would think trek or something like that, a journey. Um, Coming to blows, say, if you're coming to blows, you're at it. That's a phrase that you see in the New York Times crossword sometimes, um, just to mean you're, you're fighting, either physically or verbally. Uh, that would allow, that would allow this in the across. Let's look at the, at this one. Indigenous race, indigenous race in the Avatar movies. Um, not seen either of the Avatar movies, but I'm pretty sure I know what these are called. They're the Navi, I think. That's what the blue... I presume that is the blue aliens in those films. And territory reached along the Oregon Trail. Uh, Utah, it must be Utah. Uh, Pre-statehood Utah encountered along the Oregon Trail. Famous Oregon Trail, the <laughs> probably best known to people of my generation for the computer game of the same name. Expeditions, e.g. Oh, it's is it Ford? Ford Expeditions? Those huge... SUVs, those enormous vehicles. Um, so actress who played Scarlett O'Hara and Blanche Dubois. Um, Vivian Lee? Be another GH in there. Uh, interesting. So that could be, there could be any number of things this could be. If that is indeed the correct answer and how you spell it, we could sort of curve around a corner the way we did Yesterday, for instance, we could uh, put more than one letter in a single cell using the rebus function, um, but there are obviously uh, six possibilities as to where that could go um, if, if that is the case. I'm trying to think what else could make this work. I hope this is actually the right answer, otherwise I'm <laughs> theorizing about nothing, but I think it is. Let's, let's look at this down. What Columbus thought he'd reach in 1492. Um, didn't he think he'd reach India? Not quite sure I understand what this is looking for. Um, the New World? I don't know. Hmm. Oh, the 
the Indies? Does that? No. Hmm. So if this were Vivian, if, if Ian were here, Thian. No. Maybe this is wrong. I don't know. Sorry. This is pro I'm probably missing a really obvious conclusion here. Let's look at this one. World Vision and others for short. Not sure. And here we have cocktails with brandy and creme de menthe. Creme de menthe. Uh, I'm sure I know this. Oh, I'm just not doing very well today. Here we have, oh, right, we saw that. What about this? Radiant. If you're radiant, you're what? You're sort of, you're glowing, you're beaming, you're uh, shining, you're... I don't know. Rights Advocacy Organization. Could be the ACLU, the American Civil Liberties Union. That's in, That fits in four letters. Let's just try it and see if I can come up with anything. Old Fashioned News Source. And Records. Could be Records or Records. Gross. Ugh. There we go. That's That works. Pirates Swill. Grog. So that's um, uh, rum and water and sometimes citrus. Uh, oh, records, logs. There we go. Okay, and then Vivian Lee will fit in here. Okay, so old-fashioned news source. So this could be an I or uh, an L-E-I. No, that doesn't work. Oh, right, and it does end with, with her name here. So this is almost certainly going to be a rebus that goes in, in this line somewhere. Old-fashioned news source. And this is probably an I. I don't know. I just can't see it. I'm sorry. Okay. Radiant. Oh, a, a glow or... Um, uh, if you're radiant, you're... Oh, I can't think. Ah, I really like a glow, but it's not long enough. Is there something else going on here? Not sure. Oh boy, I'm really stuck in this area, aren't I? Doomed to fail for short. Um, DOA, dead on arrival. Oh, a, a gleam? Is a gleam? Could you? Oh. Hmm. Maybe these are, maybe these are pairs of two letters. Yeah, this could be, there could be two rebuses in here. That could work. Old fashioned news source. I just have no idea about this one though. Do I think a gleam is right? So Vivian Lee, this would either, either be IA here. Uh, or an AN here. World Vision and Others. I don't know. What is that? I I am I can't believe how much I'm I'm struggling with this. Uh let's see. Awards that only one college athlete has ever won twice. Oh, I don't know. Not the right person to ask. As you surely know, if you've been watching this. What Columbus thought. I mean, I wanted to start with the because of Sant here, and then the only way for that to work, though, is if Vivian Lee is spelled differently to how I expect, which I guess is possible, but maybe it doesn't. I, I probably just have this Columbus thing completely wrong, and I'm just not thinking of something incredibly obvious, and that's also infuriating. <laughs> Old-fashioned news source. Old-fashioned news source. What do I think this is? Okay, let's just look elsewhere. Sorry, we'll come back to it. I'm, I'm very frustrated by that. <laughs> Um, if I were, this is sort of similar to what I mentioned yesterday. If I was solving this on my own and not on video, I would have just skipped back past that bit ages ago and probably <laughs> have, you know, filled most of the grid by now because I hadn't been wasting time on that little area. But I just, I, <laughs> I feel this pressure to figure everything out immediately. The food of love for Shakespeare. If, if, if something is the, Food of love play. If music, if music be the food of love play on, it goes. Charger Dodgers. 
um, people dodging a bull, bullfighters, toreros, charger dodgers. I'm not sure what that's looking at. Open on Christmas, say. What a provocateur aims to do, stir the pot, maybe? No idea if that's actually right, but could be. Money is no object, goes the phrase. Concern for a dermatologist, assist on your skin. Feeling the need to pace, say, you're antsy. There we go, this is what I'm talking about. Spring zodiac symbol. I don't know, as, as you may also know if you've been watching this, I always forget, I don't remember, I always forget the zodiac symbols. Uh, Charger dodgers are something open on Christmas is, I don't know, ape and co-nobelist of 1978. I mean, there's so many different Nobel Awards. Uh, some stock in the exotic pet trade. Boas? Wait, sorry. Didn't I say the Indies here earlier? Is, is maybe that how Vivian Lee's name is spelled? Oops, Indies. Oh, this would have to be another one of these. It could be either I-E here or E-S here. Is that our, I just did, oh, I think my, I think I was just convinced that her name was spelled differently and that threw me off forever. And now that I see it this way, this pair is the same. So maybe it's a paired EI going in everywhere. I can't believe how much time I wasted not just trying this. Oh, given I even said the Indies aloud at one point, that is infuriating. <laughs> okay, so I think I did anyway. Cocktails with brandy and, oh, stingers? I don't think I know that cocktail. World Vision and others. Oh, NGOs, non-governmental organization. There we go. And then, oh. Old-fashioned, oh, oh, a crier. Oh, oh, is it IE? Like a town crier. Oh, wait a second. Maybe it's both. So I'm gonna put it in this way just to be consistent. So, is it that in the downs, it's one way, and in the crosses, it's the other way? And then, so in Vivian Lee, it would be this way, I-E, then E-I. Maybe it's something about I before E, except after C, or something like that. It, I don't know how, what that would mean in the context of this grid. I guess there's a C here. I don't know if that's actually what it's getting at. But... But then here, you know, if you're looking in the downs, it'd be the other way around. It'd be E first. And then, yeah, that that works, actually, because then the Indies, so again, that would mean here we'd have E, I, award that only won, oh, Heisman Trophy. I have heard of that. Heisman, oh, whoops. Or trophies, trophies, of course, and then here's the I, E, whoops. Ah, there we go. Heisman trophies. Okay. So in this one, um, in the acrosses, we would need EI first and then IE in the downs. I don't know what order I should put these in. Maybe I'll put them always matching the acrosses. I think I'll do that just to just so that I've picked something and I'll stick with it. Um, and then we'll just have to see if the puzzle works when we submit it at the end. Oh, I finally figured this out. What a relief. Okay. Uh, charger dodgers are... Oh, matadors. It, it is it is um, uh, bullfighters, but a different word for it. Okay, there we go. So torero is what I was thinking of before. Spring zodiac symbol. Oh, twins? The, uh, twins is zodiac symbol? That sounds kind of right. Ah, uh, open on Christmas is unwrap a gift that's as simple as that. I was thinking of, you know, a term for a business that's open on Christmas. Ah, I was successfully misdirected. <laughs> to ape someone is to parrot them, to imitate them. A utensil for, for peeling is a parer, as in a vegetable, you know, potato parer, apple parer, that kind of thing. Cone, oh, oh, Sadat. Anwar Sadat, there we go, uh, for Nobel Peace Prize. And then Ratfink is, oh, I think Ratfink was in the uh, the puzzle the other day. Uh, it was a stoolie. So in the downs, it would be IE, and I think that'll mean in the across, it'll be EI, because they do seem to always alternate in that way. Cow often, a moor, I think. 
and Steve Martin, Chevy Chase, and Martin Short in a 1986 comedy. Oh, The Three Amigos, probably. Never actually seen that, but I do know of its existence, at least. Away from, if you're away from something, you're not in it, maybe? Or not at? I guess I don't know which it is. Probably not in, but who knows. One's getting the last word in. One's getting the... Oh, editors of a manuscript or something. They, you know, they have the last word, essentially. Challenged. Dared. You dared someone to do someone something. You challenged them to do it. Katie, who played TV's Peg Bundy. Uh, oh, from... Is this Married with Children? Um, Katie Siegel or Sagel? Something like that? Away from... Oh, this might be wrong. Hot shot. Question mark. Something like a lit arrow or something. I'm trying to think what a punny version of a hot shot could be. Could be any number of things, I suppose. Uh, let's look at some of these easier crosses, potentially. Jap Japan's Edo Castle, maybe? Um, and then Source of Down. Yeah. Uh, so Source of Down would be an Eider, the duck. So uh, since the Rebus here is IE in the across, it's EI in the downs, and that allows for Eider. The duck is an Eider down. Okay, scattered as seed, sown the seed. Didn't we have Edo in the crossword also the other day? Maybe that was a different crossword I solved. I think we had Edo though as. I can't. Is Edo the former? I think it's the former name of Tokyo, which is why you might have a castle named as such. I think that's the case. I think this was in the crossword the other day. Uh, if it wasn't in that, it was in the Puzmo crossword, and I can't remember which. A uh, spot for a hymn book could be a pew in a church and something that a ram and a ram have in common. So one, not a proper noun, one a proper noun. So horn? What's the capitalized ram? Oh, oh, the ram trucks. So they have a horn that you could blow. There we go. Jury refrains from the seven dwarves. Hi ho. Hi ho, hi ho. Hmm. Hi ho highs, I don't think is right. Um, and I don't see any room for wait, place for a rebus unless hi ho is spelled. Maybe it is. Oh, maybe it is spelled this way. Yeah, okay. That would actually make this IE because I'm putting it the way that the acrosses will work. So, and it looks like we do have two of these in each of these longer across answers. So it's probably right. Atkins for one. Oh, a diet. Uh, Atkins is a, a, a diet. It's a no carbohydrate diet. And, uh, no or low. I don't know. Something, it's going to be something like that. And then here we have a way from, I don't know. Okay, some stock in the exotic pet trade. Soars near the shore, maybe. Soars near the shore, maybe. I don't know, something about a seaplane or particular seabirds? I'm not sure. K-O connector. K-L-M-N-O. <laughs> I think this is simply connecting these letters in the alphabet. As simple as that, I suspect. But let's look at the crosses and see. Uninspiring. Blah, maybe? Prefix with directional. Omnidirectional. And... Sorry, it's just got an odd sound coming off to my side. I'm not sure what it is. Uh, some stock in the exotic pet trade. Oh, boas. I think that was... I don't remember if I said it aloud, but I think that was my guess. And it turns out it is right, seemingly. So, soars near the shores. Soars near the shore, maybe. Oh, I don't know. Country west of Zambia. Angola? Soars near the... Sh oh, hangs... Soars. Something to do with surfing? Atkins, for one. Oh, high-protein diet. Ah, I was thinking of it the other way around. So, uh, there we go. And yes, this is already in the correct configuration because... Um, I reversed it after putting it in for stoolie. So there we go. High protein diet is correct. Great. Uh, hot shot. 
I'm not sure about this one. Oh, Emperor? Emperor? No. Katie Sagel? Hotshot. Oh, this must be it. Away from, not at. Oh, okay. Katie Seagal, maybe her name is. Okay. So Hotshot is, I don't know. Big game hunting targets in the classic short story, The Most Dangerous Game. Humans. There we go. I remember reading that. Maybe in school. Can't remember off offhand, but I did read that story at one point. Tackle box assortment. Lures and fishing. There we go. Oh, hang hang glides. There we go. That's it. Sorry. I was about to put in hang gliders, but no. The clue says soars as in does the soaring. So one hang glides. Okay. If one said nasty things about you slimed somebody, I think. Is that a term used for that? I think so. Hot shot is an espresso. There we go. I'll make myself one of those after this video. Man, it seems feels like I need it to wake up my brain. <laughs> Shouts of accomplishment. Tadas. There we go. And take a take a stand, take a I don't know. Church chorus amens. There we go. That's straightforward. Holy title in Tibet, Lama, there we go. Uh, most famous, of course, being the Dalai Lama. Old Man River singer traditionally would be Beso. So that Beso or bass, you know, referring to that very low vocal range. Um, which is what I sang when I studied music at university, although I don't think I'm a true bass. I'm a baritone, realistically. Uh, take being a bass is a really <laughs> extraordinary thing that I am not, you know, the resonance that true bass singers get in, those, in that low range is unbelievable. Anyway, take a stab. Oh, yeah, you take a stab. You, yeah, what I repeatedly did up here in the grid before finally making progress. Most prying would be nosiest, maybe? Oh, yeah, nosiest would have the IE in it. Uh, so it would be IE, but we're putting it the opposite way for the crosses. So EI and then ST here. Here we have the O of 11 down NGOs, non governmental organizations. So org. Aerodynamic resistance is drag. There we go. There we go. We appreciate the contribution. It's a help, I guess. Yeah, that sounds plausible enough. Early Quechua speaker, uh, Inca. That must be must be an indigenous Inca language. That sounds very plausible to me. What T stands for in video game ratings is T, rated T for teen, as they say. And then complete reversals are 180s. There we go. And we've already put in the rebus properly for the across. So when a T's and then similarly, similarly, we'll put it in here, which means this answer will begin L-E-I, high-end camera brand Leica. Is it C or K? I think it's a C. Black and white danger, an orca, which was also in the, in the puzzle this week, I think. Really cool and dated slang. Ah, that was aces, you might say. And dipstick is an or, I suppose. You dip it in the water. Is that what it's getting at? And then Jeremiah, yeah, Jeremiah is a sort of a crusade. It's a rant you might have against, you know, let loose on someone. Oh, here we have some French. Peut-être means maybe in French. And take a seat is simple as that. Stressor for some high school sophomores, OPSAT, which... I think I once referred to as the practice SAT, but then someone corrected me and said it wasn't that. I don't remember what it actually is. Preliminary? I don't know. I, I don't know. But anyway, I think that's what this is. And then take a seat and... Oof, a relief. Okay. And... Oh, right. And our, and our cells have been amended here. So uh, in each case, we have both. And let's see. It, it put the across first, which was my instinct as well, but I didn't put both of them in there. Um, oh, good. I'm glad they accepted the way I put it in. Hopefully they accept any submission with any IE in any order in each of these cells. I hope, I hope that's, I hope they accept that. You know what I hope they also accept is, well, no, I was going to say IEEI -E without a dash, but that one's a little weirder. So maybe not. I don't know. In any case, uh, I hope nobody solved the puzzle properly and yet had their submission rejected because they didn't happen to have the format correctly, because that can be very frustrating since you don't know if you've made a mistake in the formatting or if you've made a legitimate mistake ent entering an answer. Um, anyway, there we go. This was our theme. And I don't think we ever saw 
there was no revealer. I don't think there's anything that kind of explained what that was what this was about. But I think we figured out the theme, of course. We've got these I.E. rebuses. I didn't really spend much time speaking about rebuses. I think because at the point at which I was theorizing about them, I hadn't yet determined they needed to go in the grid. And then once I did, I still hadn't quite figured out what was going on. So I never really had that point where I conclusively while putting a rebus in the grid said, I definitely understand what's going on and here's why it's why it's in the in the puzzle. And the reason is simply uh, because in some crossword themes, the constructor has thought of something clever that would require more than one uh, letter in the grid. There isn't any real reason other than that. A friend of mine literally just the other day was saying I was solving this Christmas New York Times puzzle. I think I think he was relatively new to the New York Times crossword. And it was, if you recall, that one with Elf in the uh, in the cells. And he was incredibly confused. He didn't really understand what's going on. And I sort of just had to tell him, sometimes this is just what the constructor has decided to put in the grid. And you just have to sort of figure it out and infer it and put it in yourself. And that's and that's how it is. There isn't um there's no sort of rule that declares why or when a rebus should be used in uh, in a New York Times crossword puzzle theme. It just happens sometimes at the constructor's whim. And sometimes there's a revealer that explains what's going on, as was the case in that puzzle with the elves. But not not so today. We just needed to, to figure it out and put it in the grid, and we did. So we've spelled out Vivian Lee, Heisman trophies, um, high-protein diet, and uh, 180s. It's harder to read with these uh, the slashes. And those were crossing uh, the Indies, Crier, as in a town crier, um, Eider, as in the duck, Stooley, as in a stool pigeon, uh, High Hose, as in the sound the seven dwarves, uh, the song the seven dwarves sing, and Nosiest, as in a very uh, prying person, oh, and Leica, the camera. There we go. All right. And that was that. That was the Thursday crossword. I really struggled with that one, didn't I? <laughs> uh, not my finest performance right off the bat at the beginning, but... Uh, eventually found my way through. Thanks for sticking with me through through all of that. I'm sure many of you were e yelling at me through the screens during those travails, but we got there in the end. And I hope you'll come back tomorrow for a puzzle that almost certainly will have no rebuses and no theme whatsoever. It's the Friday puzzle, the first of two themeless. So do join me for that. But until then, please do have an excellent remainder of your Thursday. Take care. Mm-hmm.